All right. You head to the north side of the city uh, and um, heading in that direction, uh, you find that there is a big old gate locked shutting out the poor part of the city that is guarded by a lot of people. <laughs> classes yeah they they you know have a bunch of guards on top of the gate uh just constantly raining arrows down on the horde of zombies well i mean it's probably not anything that we really need to worry about but I feel like if we pass by the guards without saying anything, then they're going to get uppity. It's going to be a whole problem. I mean, I'm not saying do it in front of them. We have means to get inside. What are we talking about? Do we want to do the classic necklace bird keepo? We could do that. We could. Uh... Teleport? Zoltan. Yeah, Zoltan has teleport. I can just use teleport like a dimension door, kinda. Just be like, I want to. Let's go on the there. other side of the gate. Yeah, <laughs> I want to. I want to teleport to that thing I see. Yeah, however you want to do fine, it. But we should, are we like are are like uh, are we drawing attention to ourselves in any way? Like, can. Or, or the Not yet, they haven't really picked attention. you out. Uh, you are okay. just inside of the gate, and they are more concerned with the zombies that the pikemen are trying to keep back from the gate. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll... I'll yeah, I go ahead and... Um, so I'll, I'll look at it, and I'll say, I want to teleport to, like the, cent like, the center area. Kind of like a... Not center... Like a place in the center, but out of... Eh, just screw it. I'm going to go to the center. I can only, I can only do so much, I, I assume, with this, so... Um, boom. But if I can see something, like, that's not going to draw attention, like a spot that won't draw attention, that's kind of where I'm aiming for. Yeah, you, yeah, that's fine. You appear on the in the middle of a stage. <laughs> <laughs> no one's there. Technically, it's a free open space. <laughs> yeah, you uh, appear further in. Um, in here, you can see the houses have not been like completely wrecked the way they have uh, sort of further out in Memnon. Um, here, there mostly intact uh you can see a few people actually outside although they seem to be you know hurrying from house to house and not uh spending any more time outside than they absolutely have to uh but they're you know they're, they're there that was to burn that from earlier sorry Uh, I'll ask one of the people hurrying, uh, about, uh, you there, uh, House Akbar. Uh, they, uh, look at you and say that way. Thank you. La 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 la. Yeah. And uh, after <laughs> some time uh, and a few more asking people like, yo, which way, uh, you do come to a uh, nice looking noble estate that has a little, uh, you know, brass plate on the front that declares it House Akbar. Did Shaz say exactly what you should be looking for? Just that there was a meeting there about something she couldn't talk about. Which is, you know, wink, wink. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, and that they were not our friends or friendly, but clearly they were willing to meet with us. So I assume it's probably people we're not going to get along with very well, but we need to. And they might have information on how to help stop 
the thing that she can't talk about. So. Okay. All right, so we're going to get ready to strong arm them, yeah? Yeah, we're going to come we... in guns blazing, ready for a fight. You know, uh, you know me. I love to do that, but even I'm keeping the sword sheath for now. I, I kind of think if we just show up at the door, they'll know who we are and probably, like, you know, and they'll know what to do. Fingers they crossed, are right? Apparently expecting us. Yeah, so. so we just have to make it there. <laughs> or here. We're here now. We're here now. We that is always the hard part, is making it, though, is it not? Uh, yeah, we, we did the hard part. Now for the fun part. This is a big I map. I cast Glibness on myself. It, okay, oh, sorry, was that, I cast Glibness on myself that I heard? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Just in case we need it. You never know. Yeah. yeah it I doesn't hurt to have. I have a minus four to all my rolls right now, so I'm not in a great space to help. I also still have my portent dice, and I'm pretty sure they were two. Uh, it was a two and a three, mm -hmm. but I'm going off of two weeks ago, so um, I'm fine with it. Could be wrong. Give me that All right. Two. <laughs> Is it this door just uh, ahead of us that we're looking at? Yup. All right, guys. So we should we should like stand in a cool pose. So when they open the door and the first time they see us, like you know, we're in our hero pose and like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I knock on the door. <laughs> oh, uh, hold on, hold on, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. The uh, door opens oh. up and there is a man standing there. Uh, greeting you, he says. Lisa, I literally looked over to look at you. I'm trash. I'm trash. I'm a raccoon and I live in the trash can. I live in the dumpster. I live in a landfill. You found a new boy to save. I can fix him. No, he's not very material. Real boss. Real That man has commitment issues. That man, that man says he is uh, so, so, so solo polyamorous. <laughs> he says, uh, please come in. You must be the reverie. I've been told to expect you. Yep, okay. that's us. Steps back from the door. Okay, and we go. Oh, it's a big house. Gigantic. Are they, Are they giants? Why is there people? Yeah, it sh shuts it and says, I am Lord Six. Lord Six? Yes. Uh, as in, like, counting up, you're the sixth lord, or you're out of a number of lords? Uh, my family name is Six. six. Gotcha. Oh, I thought we were in House Akbar. Usually they name it after the last name. This is House Akbar. Uh, however, I am Lord Six. No explanation. Of what relation to the house? I am its current proprietor. Oh. <laughs> it's my okay. house now. <laughs> Why not name it House Six then? Uh, well, that gets somewhat confusing with street numbers. <laughs> it's a very practical mindset. You know, that's fair. That's a, a very good point that I hadn't even considered. Besides, I do like to remember the Akabars from now and then. Are you a recent proprietor of the house? I proprieted it from them. Proprieted or appropriated? <laughs> Whichever you prefer. Uh huh. Tomato, tomato. Whether by deed or force, it's his house now. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Is uh, the rest of your family living here? 
Hey, or just this. you. Uh, the others will be along shortly. We weren't sure how quickly to expect you. Uh, please, uh, come in to the study. <laughs> I feel like the vibes are really weird with this guy. Yeah, I feel like he's gonna. Is he a vampire? Oh. He's giving off some vampirish. I feel like he's gonna say, now everybody strip off your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you wish he would say that. <laughs> he, he walks into a surprise orgy. <laughs> surprise, it's just us. <laughs> <laughs> It's awkward. There's a bag of peanuts in the corner. <laughs> and like punch that's been out for a while, so it's kind of going flat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the vibes are not immaculate. What are you talking about? Look at all these books. I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> so ten. I'm on the I'm on the ladder, I like Bell, and I'm I'm singing that song. He says, the and Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> he says, uh, can I offer you any sort of refreshments? Some of you look rather weary. I'll take uh, a drink if you have it. Yeah, same. Um, that'd be nice. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's just, it's, of course. Uh, and then uh, walks over to the door and calls out. Uh, drinks, if you please. He's got people. Thralls, mayhaps. <laughs> I wonder what kind of drinks we'll get. That was kind of a vague... Blood red wine. I've just decided he's a vampire now in my head. He's I, not. I mean, I what can is tell. the vibe? Can I can I try to get a sense of the vibes in here as we're like standing around awkwardly? Uh, sh sure. Uh, do you want to use your paladin's divine sense to tell if you're in front of an undead? Yes, I do. <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. Perhaps I would like to use my divine sense in here, please. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Yeah, uh, go ahead and uh, ping the divine sense. I always forget exactly what it does, you know. Yeah, it's not as good. It's only celestial fiends are undead, but. Okay, he is not a celestial fiend or undead. So you can, uh, you know, wad up your vampire theory and chuck that out the window. <laughs> yeah. I always forget that rich people are also just eccentric. So sometimes I just assume vampire when you know, it's really just there, very there rich. There is always that. Sometimes rich people are just fucking weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at Kalanoth. I mean, Kalanoth was also a villain, so maybe not the best. <laughs> <laughs> like, she was also doing legitimately villainous shit. Yeah, he says, uh, the drinks will be along in just a moment. Uh, in the meantime, let me be the first to welcome you all to Memnon. It uh, looks like your city's in pretty rough shape. He says, it is Some indeed. of it anyway. It has seen better days, um, but th here in this quarter of the city, at least, we're fine. Of course, uh, some take issue with that more than others. A, uh, as he's saying that, uh, the door opens again, and you see a uh, boggle come in uh, carrying a tray of drinks. It does not have skulls around it. That's just the default image of a boggle. <laughs> well, he's, he's just a little guy. Yeah, a boggle. I don't know anything about boggles. <laughs> uh, boggles are a, a very weak fey creature uh, that generally do mischief. Gotcha. 
Yeah, it's uh, carrying a uh, tray of drinks, uh, one for each of you. Uh, each is a glass of a clear liquid. I drink it. I try and identify it first. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, this, this looks great. Is this water? He, he says, it can be. Oh, it can be whatever you want. Yeah, uh, and as Zoltan finds out as uh, he's drinking it, it uh, as you're drinking it, transforms into whatever you're craving at that moment. Uh, I just thought it was water, so I imagine I so drink it's Zoltan water. Zoltan drinks it's like water. water. <laughs> that's the best water he's ever had. That's, that's some Fiji water right there. That's that's not Poland Spring, all right? That's a nice water that comes in glass bottles and like first class on airlines. But uh, Wow, this is incredible. <laughs> what? Where, where, where did your well come from? What's the depth on your well? I gotta, I gotta get your numbers. <laughs> oh, that tastes. That's that's very nice. How? Where did you come across a liquid like this? Is it an enchantment or? inherent of the nature itself. He says, it's the glasses. Oh, oh the glasses. Oh, the great. glasses. The liquid is just water. That's great, great because I'm a little freaked out. That Obviously. It's like pink lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear. <laughs> Wait, you got pink lemonade? The, uh, you hear the, uh, the front door open and a voice call out, Six, we're here. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Yeah, you better hope seven doesn't plot. show up. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Hopefully this is one through five. <laughs> yeah, uh, two women come in. Oh no, now Derek's going to give us hot women. We're all in trouble. Yeah. 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 Uh, her sword is sheathed at the moment, but she is uh, wearing armor. Mm. Is her hair doing that? Yeah, he says, uh, esteemed reverie, allow me to introduce uh, Imperator Zeal. Uh, he motions to that woman. And her wife, Tamara. What we're one for the gays, baby. Let's go. I support women's wrongs and women's rights. <laughs> I'm sorry, their names, their names again? Tamara, Tamara and Zeal? Im yes. Imperator Zeal? Hello, it's nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, uh, t Tamara smiles and gives a little wave, and uh, Zeal gives sort of a curt nod and says, uh, Belafat said the rest will be late. He shrugs. I suppose it can't be helped. Uh, since they'll be uh, a little later, would you all like um, a place to freshen up? Um, change of clothes, bath, that sort of thing. I have a, a guest residence here on site, if you'd like. Uh, you're, of course, welcome to stay here as well. We'd love if to, we, that'd be great. Yeah, if we have to wait, sure, thank you. Oh, You've... wonderful, this way. <laughs> it's like, you guys look like schlubs, look nice for my company. <laughs> I grab a random book and I take it with me. Yeah, sure. He says, the uh, guest residence is right across there. Oh my god, their gardens are so huge. Like Please, make yourselves at home. Uh, and uh, at your comment on his garden, he says, ah, thank you. I wish I could take credit, but uh, these are all, all uh, Piracini's doing. Piracini? Oh, you'll meet him later. Uh, Lovely merchant friend of mine imported most of this. They're imported? He nods. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, not much grows here naturally. Are they, Are they imported from very far away places? 
he says, oh yes, uh, all over the uh, Shining South, uh, for the most part. He says, of course, I'll have to ask him what could, would uh, do well for you. Where are you taking it? Waterdeep. He says, I'll see to it. But it, yeah, conditions shouldn't be more than I can do. He says, I will uh, send my servant for you when the others arrive. Uh, please uh, relax, help yourselves to anything in the guest house. There should be clothes of various sizes there as well if you need to change. Um, I imagine you've been running about from one place to another. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Do we have uh, an estimate on how long we're going to be waiting? Or is it like overnight or is it oh, just only a few evening? hours, just to dinner? Okay. We'll be having you for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's a pool table. <laughs> Zoltan found the billiards. <laughs> Zoltan's already got a cigar. He's playing pool. He's got a glass of whiskey. <laughs> Hippo turns into a vole and starts burying himself in the garden. No, no, God. Don't dig his garden up, Jesus Christ. This is his guest house. This is his guest house. Well, let's be real here. I don't think it's really his. I think whoever used to live here either died in the invasion or was killed by the man who is now our host, um, Lord Six. Possession. He possesses this house. Like, that's his house. It is now his house. <laughs> it's. I and mean, this. listen, possession is nine-tenths of the law. That's what they always say, so... Uh -huh. You don't have a wall in one of your... <laughs> what? Is there, is there meant to be a wall there? Oh, it's gone now. It wasn't working for a Since you were moving you and Jorlin simultaneously, you messed up uh, the, like, going up floors. It was the problem. That's why it didn't work. Oh my god, there's a whole nother floor? Jesus, Derek. Oh, that's a terrace. Yeah, what kind of guest house is only one story, Baru? Um, I think this place is a three-floor good place, guys. And you it did better be again. Again. This place is crazy. Let us know if you find the weird sex room he clearly probably has. <laughs> oh, there's one in here that has a chair and a bed. Oh, the cuckold chair? chair? <laughs> the cuck chair, That's my yeah. Reading. The cuck chair, yeah, you know, just what everyone needs. Oh, wow. I mean, Zoltan, in this room above you here, there's just one enormous pillow. Yes. <laughs> this, this bed is, like, four, four people long. That's one sweet. big bed. That's one why it's got four bed. pillows. Dibs on the pillow bed. I think it's bigger than the bed in my room. It's over here, Zoltan. Not that one, the other one. Well, I'm well, going to all of them. Oh, that one's huge. Oh, that one's got two cuck chairs. <laughs> Isn't that what you call them? <laughs> I don't know. I was going off what you guys had called, said. Baru's downstairs having a snack. Dying makes you really hungry. Oh, this one does too. <laughs> Yeah, that's the oh, one that's just a giant pillow. I, I really feel like we have walked into this man's, um, sexy sun time. 
I jump on the beanbag bed. Yeah, Whoa. it's it's real soft, uh, and you would find yes. through this door over here is the uh, like bathroom washroom. Oh wow, this has an ensuite. Yeah. I'm going to take a nap, goodbye. Yep. So does Jorlin. Well, I'm going to shut this door. I'm going to, in one of those big chairs by the billiards room, and taking off my armor for a minute, and trying to get some clean clothes and stuff out of it. Try to look a little more presentable. Uh, yeah, true to his word, they've got a, a whole host of, uh, you know, wardrobes filled with all manner of size and style of clothing. Yeah, uh, there's a moment as I'm looking through the clothes, I'm like, these belong to people who are dead now, and then I don't <laughs> put any of them on. <laughs> Unless there's a really big fluffy bathrobe, then I put that on for a little bit. Uh, those are up in the uh, wardrobes of the room with the attached bath. Damn it, Rain Jorlin. <laughs> You're just taking a nap, a little afternoon nap. Just a little snooze. We're, we're eating. Yeah, Baru, as you uh, sort of relax into this room, the uh, piano starts playing on its own. Ghost. Ghost. Bye. Just sort of a, a soft, sort of relaxing melody. Except for the fact that the piano started playing on its own. Yeah, but then I think back to the thing where, like, the cups were enchanted to let you drink whatever you wanted, and it seems a little bit more realistic to me. Like, it makes a little more sense, you yeah. know? <laughs> but I do say hello, ghost, out loud, just in case it can talk. Yeah, uh, when you say that, the uh, piano stops for a moment and then resumes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> if that man killed you, what? play a G. <laughs> what if? No. Uh, Peru, roll a performance check. Oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> no. Peru, you wouldn't recognize a G if it bit you in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Curse Why Megan's you... real life knowledge of musical skills and Baru's complete incompetency. <laughs> Why would she tell me to play a G if she didn't know what a G was? <laughs> it's the opposite of the my character is smarter than me problem. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh no, my character's dumber than me. <laughs> I think that's the I'm case for most people who play a character with a 10 intelligence because i i tend to think that most people that play D, D are a little bit above average intelligence at least yeah i would you give know? myself smarter than the average bear yeah you know? if, if like 10 is the average person and you consider how smart the average person is and it's it's not no, smart it's <laughs> oh yeah no Yeah, no, the most unbelievable thing about my character is a 20 strength, which is not what I have in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sit in the billiard room and read that book. Yeah. Uh, as you open that book, uh, you realize it's uh, in some weird script that you don't know. Oh, I beg to differ. I cast uh, Comprehend Languages on myself. Yeah, um, <laughs> you cast Comprehend Languages and touch the book, uh, and it has no meaning. What? It has no meaning. There is no literal meaning of the symbols that you see on that book. Is it an... Is it a... Um, am I in like a... Is it not real? No, it's a is physical it like... book. But is it I, is it like a book that's just like decoration, so there's no actual words, and they just scribbled a bunch of shit that doesn't mean anything it as like a be. decorative? I go back to the library. I'm angry. That's some <laughs> horse shit. 
Yeah, uh, like there's a, there's a bunch of symbols on that page, but they don't mean anything. The magic is like, I don't know what to tell you, boss. This is this is junk. <laughs> I don't remember where the library is. Yeah, <laughs> it's not out the window. I can tell you that much. Uh, uh, no, this is where I came from. Yeah, Zoltan, uh, as you're looking through here, and now that you've noticed that, you notice the uh, sheet music on the piano is the same. It's it's just a bunch of uh, squiggles that don't actually add up to anything. Haru! Yes? Look at this! The book? I'm just... I'm, yeah. Yeah, look at... Well, the book and this paper. Do you see this music? Oh, is that what music looks like? Yeah, this this is a G. I hear the note. Ah, <laughs> oh, but you look at that. <laughs> Learn something new uh, every day. Yeah. So, but it doesn't mean anything. I, look here. I'll uh, I'll show you, and I'll cast. Does the other one let her read? Nope. The one that I can cast and on her. Comprehend language. Oh, you shit. can only cast on you. You have no way of letting Buru read it. <laughs> No, I mean, sure. I believe you, Zoltan. You know how to read. You spend a lot of time reading a book. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? Like, the story ends in a bad way? Or, like, the language just there, crisscross? Or is it just a bunch of, like... There is no... It's not language. It's just They're scribbles? Just... Like, remember when you were a kid and you made up a secret language, but it was just... Like, you would write in a book and it would just be squiggly lines to, to like, pretend like you were writing? It's kind of like that, just fancier. It's fancy squiggly, li squiggly lines. I, yeah. uh, right? Zoltan, that... as you're showing Brew the book, the squiggly lines are different than they were before. They still don't mean anything. It... But they're changing. Uh, they changed since the last time you looked at it. But they are not changing in front of your eyes. That's weird. Either he knows about this and he doesn't think you're able to read it, or he doesn't know about this and this is all part of some sort of illusion, which is not un. I mean, can you? Everything in here is fine, right? Can you arcanely see if there's something weird? I I didn't sense any sort of uh. fiend undeadness from him, but that doesn't mean that there's some not some other illusion going on. I don't think I have sense arcane, but I probably have detect magic, which is kind of like that. So we'll do that one. I think a lot of things are going to be magical in here, but. Yeah, uh, the book is not magical, as far as you can tell with your detect magic. Uh, neither is the. Um whatchamacallit, the sheet music on the piano. Um, there is some magic. Uh, on the piano bench uh, that looks like illusion magic. Huh. Uh, and there is some evocation magic on the uh, candles and chandeliers. Uh, you would recognize that one pretty easily. It's the continual flame spell. Okay, okay. I got one more. I got one more thing up my sleeve. Crusite. Ooh. Uh, yeah, you can see uh, a little boggle sitting at the piano bench <laughs> playing. Oh. Okay. Uh, I, I'll, I'll talk. I'll. Hello. It uh, just sort of keeps playing away. Does it look at me? Uh, no. Uh, I'll cat. Uh, hey, piano player, I can see you. Can you hear me? Oh, it it turns towards you and nods and keeps playing. Oh. Uh, 
Hey guys, th by the way, there's a boggle on the piano. I I don't know if I told you that. Oh. Oh, and um. Hey, hey, Ray and Jorlin. I was just about to come up and get you. I I swear. But then you showed up, so I didn't even. So I just stopped, not doing. Anyway, uh, we found this this pa m music paper thing. I I fill you in. How I fill you guys in. And then now this language, and now there's a boggle here. Hey, Bog, Mr. 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 Boggle, do you have a name? Uh, it shakes its head. Oh, no name. B Can Boggles are very, music? like, low-level, very stupid fey. Okay. Can you read the symbol? Like, are, are you able to read this? This. It, uh, uh, it shakes its head again. You don't have oh, to play so... the piano if you don't want to, by the way. Can you tell him that? You can hear me, right? It nods and can keeps Can you playing. hear her? Okay. Oh, he he heard you. Um, are you dead? It shakes oh. its head. <laughs> no, you're invisible. Oh, that's right. Okay, okay. I remember seeing that now. <laughs> Did you serve the um, Akbar family before Lord Six moved in, or did you come with Lord Six? It nods. Shit! I didn't ask the right. I didn't ask the question the right way. Uh, it nods. Did you come with Lord Six? Uh, it shakes its head. No, it it served the Akbar. It it served Akbars before. Do you like Lord Six? It nods vehemently. Oh, I like him! Vehemently in a, yes, I love him, or yes, I love him. If, if I don't <laughs> say that, I will be punished. Uh, someone who can see it can make an insight check. I'm... Uh, Ray, it's already very wide eyes get even wider. It is a little, more than a little scared. Mm -hmm. huh. Huh. So, so you were part of the old household? It nods. Did he, did he kill him? It's okay. We're not going to fight him. You can just tell us. It nods. Can you speak? Ah, it shakes its head. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, it turns towards Ray and opens its mouth, and you can see its tongue has been removed. But we can only ask it yes or no questions. Hmm. We got to get to the bottom. Do you know what this, do you know what all this, why all this paper, this words don't make any sense? Uh, it, it shakes its head. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, uh, with your insight, you can tell, uh, it, Ray, it, it is, uh, not going to say anything about that, but it does know. Are we in danger if we stay here much longer? Uh, once more, a frightened head shake. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god. What did Char say? Well, she did say they were dangerous. She said they were dangerous. Should we not eat or drink any more of the food? I think that... <laughs> Char seemed genuine, and what she said was that 
she believes that they will be of a help to us. So I think we just ride it out and trust Shar. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? There's only a terrified little boggle here looking at me with the widest eyes I've ever seen. To be fair, a boggle is little, and I, I mean it's it's probably pretty easy to scare a boggle. Is all I'm trying to say. I'm not trying. I'm not saying it shouldn't be scared. It's had its tongue removed. I it should be scared. I right, but it's we are not a boggle. Is what I'm trying to to get to right. I just don't like the unknown sometimes. I don't either. I don't either. I really don't. But it's kind of it's a roll with it. Sometimes you have to just, you know, I don't know. Do it. <laughs> do what? <laughs> you just wait and see. Okay. It, we could stress, we could stress over it for the next hour and a half and enjoy nothing. Or we could hang out for the next day, hour and a half, and play pool, and then it'll happen, and we could address it then. But really, I do want to get down. I I really do want to get to the bottom of what's going on with this paper because I'm not down with books that I can't read. What is that about, right? Well, well maybe we should contact somebody who might be familiar with something like this. I don't know. Can phone. Hmm. Uh, your wizard is your wizard down in um underground. Uh, do 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 Lamar do Lamar is that your your wizard? Know anything? We've we've him. Let's Even go. I know more about magic than Dur Lamar does at this point. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> The last time we involved Durlamar, he basically made, he barely made out of life. Yeah, the last time can... you asked Durlamar a question, he was like, Wow, you're into some really high concept shit, aren't you? I don't fucking know. I make health potions, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I can call Pagoda. Sure. Oh, no, why don't, I, why don't I call the Long Saddles? They're probably more, this is more up their alley than the Pagoda's. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I sell the Long Saddles, not the, yeah, the Harpels. Thank you. Um, can I send? Oh, never mind. I'm just gonna send to uh, La Lady Harpel. Uh, hey, it's Zoltan. I got a really weird thing that I'd like you to look at. I'm in Mimnon House Akbar. Want to come? I did not expect to use this character today. Uh, the Velaine responds, In Shar's domain of night I rest, so dreams may show me how I'm blessed. Does she want me to dream? I think that's what that means. Well, she just spoken like a, a hot, hot... What's the guy underground? The H guy. Alaster. Isn't he speaking riddles? Sometimes. Sometimes. Why is she speaking in riddles? I think it's a coded message. Just a guess. Oh, in Char's domain, I rest my eyes. Is that what it start? How it started? In Shar's domain of night I rest, so dreams may show me how I'm blessed. Oh, maybe she does want me to dream. Yeah, I think she wants you to dream. Here, I slapped Zoltan. No, I don't slap Zoltan in the face. Oh, I fall backwards when she slaps me unconscious. Uh, it's a very soft slap. Okay. Jorlin, Jorlin grabs I, I fall asleep in Jorlin's arms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Friends, 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 know how it happened. All right, and you're trying to dream to Velaine? Yes. Uh, she does not appear to be asleep. Not really fair. She's not asleep. I can't say that. 
I'm just in a black room saying, she's not asleep. Uh, can I wake up? Yeah. I wake up. She wasn't there. Uh, in Shaw's domain of night, I rest so dreams can show me how I'm blessed. Maybe you can't. Maybe you have to uh, read it in the dark and the true words show up there. Oh, good freaking thinking, Baru. Look at the big brains on you. Let's do it. So, will we turn the lights off? Oh, but it's that spell on the flame. We gotta. How can we put that that? that Maybe flame if you go into ever? like a cupboard or something that doesn't have a light, you could see it. Or maybe I bet you that they've got this everlasting flame dreams. cast in every room so that you can't see it. Kind of how if you try and read any text in your dreams, it doesn't actually show up as text. Are we dreaming? Are we dreaming? Are we, Are we inceptioned? I wake up. You don't? <laughs> how, how do you wake up? I don't know. You know when you become aware of your... Like when in a dream when yeah, you know you're dreaming? Yeah, I'm aware. Yeah, so when you do that, and it's like now you're struggling to stay in the dream and come out of the dream. Well, I stop struggling to stay in. Is it working? If you're inceptioning, you don't have a person outside to give you the kick, as they call it yeah. in Inception. Okay. It takes Fair you enough. like three or four levels of dream to finally wake up. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Where's the boggle? Around. Boggle, are we dreaming? The boggle looks at you oddly. No, Alright, so now... I think we gotta get the lights off, but I think all of these, every single, based off my... Does every flame in the house have that spell on it, Derek? Yes. So we have to. Uh, really cast uh, darkness in the middle of. Okay. Continuum flame is actually a third level spell, so it cannot be taken out by darkness. <gasps> wow. Why don't Why don't you stick to knocking things down, Jorlin? All right. Oh no, I'm wrong. It's second. Fuck <laughs> Easy killer. <laughs> yeah, you take out, uh, we'll say, the lights over here. Can I see anything on the paper? No, it's a globe of darkness. You can't see anything at all. <laughs> so how did... Okay. What if you, like... Maybe it's not magical light? I don't know. Actually, you have true seeing. You can see through darkness uh, right now. Uh, yeah, uh, so uh, looking at the book, it still looks like gibberish. Okay, I was wrong. I still but think I it tried, was a really good idea. But I tried, and that's what counts. I still think... Uh, Baru, I, I still think it you, was a big uh, brain can... idea. Do you want to try the... Um... Comprehend languages thing again? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah uh, the uh, book uh, resolves into once again gibberish. I was gonna say, I was gonna say uh, it says uh, it over and over again. So it does the gibberish change? Uh, uh, from the last time you looked at it, yes. So when I cast comprehend languages on it, does it change from no, when it's, it's still... I don't have comprehend? It's the same yeah. at that point, but I've only but I've seen it two different, three different, two different ways now, three different ways now. Yeah, every every time you look away and look back at the page, it's a different set of gibberish. This is so weird. I mean, she is kind of the god of like darkness and loss and secrets, so this is kind of right up her alley of like giving secrets. you a book that you can't read. I hate her for this. <laughs> <laughs> if only it was that easy, Sultan. <laughs> this, this, is very this Keep frost is a line, you know. I can accept a lot of things, but <laughs> making books that can't be read. <laughs> 
Kipo, from where you are, you see a boggle coming across the courtyard towards the uh, door from where you're mulling around. <laughs> <laughs> and it, there's a, a knock at the front door for the rest of you. <laughs> well, guess you'll have to ask him yourself why you can't read the book, Sultan. <laughs> what was, uh... Yeah. Are they here? The people that we're waiting for? The uh, boggle nods. Hello? And uh, starts walking back towards the house. Oh. oh, the book was in the other house. Yeah, I wasn't going back there. That's right. I remember now. Brushing dirt roots out of my hair. Bull Kipo. Just a, just, a, just a dirt bath. Yeah, it uh, stops and wait there, and you can see Lord Sixes inside. It says, uh, the rest of the guests have arrived. Please, this way. Okay. I trust you had a relaxing few hours? Yeah, the uh, Boggle you sent in to play the piano did a great job. It was very nice of him. Oh, wonderful. It would have been much better, except this book that I picked up off the shelf in your in your library, it's just a bunch of gibberish. What is that about? Says, uh, yes, I'm afraid most of them are. Why? Eccentricities of the former tenants, I suppose. Interesting. Is he, does he is, is he telling the truth? You can roll insight. Oh, I can roll it, but I can't see it. Oh, he's a really honest person. I'm almost certain of it. Where's insight? There it is. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. You know this in. guy. This guy wouldn't lie he to wouldn't me. Lie to you. No, not at all. He says, uh, you've already met uh, Zeal and Tamara. Uh, this is uh, Vizier Bellofat, uh, Magistrate Dimis, Piracini, uh, and Alden McGregor. Uh, and I'm going to show McGregor. you pictures of each of those people. <laughs> Uh, so here's Alden. He looks uh, somewhat out of place among the rest of them. Uh, here is Magistrate Dimis. Here is Pretty boy. Piracini. And here is Belafat. Oh man, I really wanted Divine Sense again, but I don't want to draw too much attention. <laughs> Divine Sense draws no sort of attention. It Divine is, Sense! D Divine Sense <laughs> is the same as you opening your eyes, basically. Like, it is, you know, you're just looking. You're not touching. Yep. I just, I'm just looking with my special eyes. Yeah, you uh, look with your special eyes and <laughs> can tell that... Uh, ah, there we go. Uh, Vizier Belafat uh, is a fiend. No surprise. I saw his picture and I was like, something's wrong with that man. <laughs> uh, the rest of them are, are all chill, though. Okay. Cool. Just tuck that away. Yeah, uh, and they all uh, move into the dining room.
Here you go, Jorlin. You can have my seat. Oh, there you go. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, he uh, calls out, we're ready for food. And the uh, door opens here, and uh, a few more boggles come marching out, each uh, laden with plates that they begin uh, placing placing uh, little bits of uh, first uh, soups onto everyone's plates in little bowls before they hustle back into the kitchen. So, who are you all, and why does Shara think that you can help us? He says, oh, um, my mistake, I, uh, uh, well, this, I'm Lord Six, this is Imperator Zeal, this is Tamara, uh, Piracini. Yeah, we got the names, but that doesn't really, you know, explain who you are. This is, oh, um, well, we're a, a collective of individuals, m much like yourself, though not nearly so famous, of course. As to what your dark lady hopes we can accomplish together, I suppose you would know more about that than we would. We, uh, he says, uh, we were simply told that we should take your meeting. I see. Says, ah. Well, the gods are vague, aren't they? Uh, well, she hinted that you might be able to assist us with a uh, certain world-ending problem that the gods cannot look upon directly. Uh, there is a certain used-to-be angel that is going about doing the deeds of an ancient abolithic entity uh, that uh, the over-deity is not so fond of. Uh, goes by the name of Evemarin and wants to tear down divinity and spread truth sounds like a lofty enough goal i suppose yeah yeah but the the way of doing that kind of involves tearing down all of society as we know it and building everything up from the ground it's not ideal it's not efficient i suppose i could see how you would want to stop that with you being heroes and all uh, as far as we know, uh, allied themselves with the Yonti, um, and last we saw them uh, was in one of the, uh, which Yonti city were we in? Oh, we left it very quickly, but I do, I do remember that we went to what? Uh, crap, what was it? Was it Serpent Hills that we got? Yontiville. <laughs> Allied with the Yuan Ti, so you're aware of the recent developments with their, I suppose you could say, uh, religious hierarchy? I knew that they were killing all of the anathemas, but I don't recall anything since. Well, I suppose you have had a lot to deal with. Um, even down here, we've heard stories of your exploits. Yeah, we've been trying to solve the zombie problem and undead first, uh, since being able to heal can go very far in today's world. Yes, I would. <laughs> he says, I would very much imagine it would. Um, how is that going, by the way? <laughs> Honestly, we're like one step away from s signing that one away. And, you know, we're just waiting on an ally of ours. And we're going to all meet back up and it was all going to be checked off the list. This is good. 
uh, well, we have had some dealings with the yuan Ti in the past. So perhaps that's how we're meant to be of help to you. Uh, what kind of dealings? Uh, you both talked at once. Oh. You go ahead, I just said what kind of dealings? I basically have the same thing. So just tell us everything. <laughs> you know. He says, um, well, what you may not be aware of is that they recently, you know that they tried to kill their gods, right? Uh-huh. He says, are you aware that they recently succeeded? They killed Dendar? Uh, no, Seth. Nope. Do we know Seth? That's a weird yeah, god. It's like so they killed Frank. Yeah. yeah, I know. I was like, I'm thinking that's kind of a boring name, man. He got he kind of got it coming for him. It has he'd two come up with a cooler if name. It helps. <laughs> oh, he's Seth. it's fantasy Seth. It's he's Seth. Seth. <laughs> like a snake. Seth. I can make a religion check if you want. Uh, yeah, um, Baru, you'd be at least uh, partially aware. Same with you, Zoltan. Uh, Seth is a evil deity um, of murder, um, magical traps, and magical poisons. Or, I suppose, was an evil deity of magical traps, magical poisons, and murder. Hmm. Was it Bad that they killed Seth. Well, normally, when one of the Yuanti deities dies, uh, the anathema that kills them rises into their pantheon. But they have no more anathema, so we're not quite sure what's happening. Oh, something else is rising to a deity. So we need to go. If maybe so, so what you're saying is normally when they kill their god, the anathema rises to godhood. Yes, it's a but simple replacement normally. But because they have no anathema, anathema. Am I saying that right? Yes. Then it uh, it could it could stand to reason that something else, someone else, could in take in the place and become rise to the godhood. He says, um, "It's not simple to do so. Uh, usually, you need to be a touch of the divine already to do so. That's why they become anathema before they try it, is to gain that touch of the divine." But yes, there's a power vacuum among their gods now. One that we're trying to keep from getting larger. Oh. What are you guys doing? Then? He says, We patrol the few uh, lands. Why? Normally it's to deal with the priests of Kelimvor, but they've all been uh, busy here on Faerun. More recently, it's been to deal with increased incursions from the Yuan-Ti. Was there looking to... Lands? The uh, realm of dreams. 
priests of Kalimvor invade dreams? Yes. You want T invade dreams? Yes. Are we in a dream right now? What did, what did, what did Long said? Yeah, yeah it perks uh, up a little in bit. Char's domain of dream, I you rest noticed. my eyes so dreams can show me so what. We're in a fucking dream. We're in a dream. We're in a dream. <laughs> We're in a dream. <laughs> you can't just put us in dreams. Come on, man. What's up with that? When did we get into one? When we drank the liquid? When we walked into the house? It says, when you came in the front door. That's why you can't read the book, because you're in a dream. can't read a book in a dream. Yes. I hate, I hate oh, is, that, is that what tipped you off? Uh, that, that, and... He told me. Hmm? How... No, 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 no one told you. Wait, 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 why, why were you lying about, about it then? Why, why lie about it? Were you hiding? Well, um... I had hoped that we would get through dinner before getting to this, um, so apologies for that. Uh, well, we want to deploy you to the fugue lands as well. Where are our bodies? Are they safe? The city was being overrun with undead. We don't... We can't just leave our bodies laying around in a broken-down mansion somewhere in a country no one knows where we are. Says, no, no worries. We have everything taken care of. Wait, Wait. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Sir. What do you, what do you mean they have this thing? First of all, you, you put us to sleep, which is great. I haven't had a good night's sleep in my life, and I'm sure I'm having one now. But second of all, people need to contact us at any given moment. And three, I didn't ask to be put to sleep! It says, um, your point is taken, of course, but, well, one of the benefits of being here is that people don't need to contact you uh, when you by the time you wake up only a few moments will have passed we can stretch time here as that however we need to how many layers are we in i'm sorry how many layers how many layers are there here i are we, don't know what you are mean. we in one dream are we just in one dream or am I like in a dream within a dream within a dream? Ah, um, he, he says yes. I do understand. Um, you're current. You're currently within my dream. Okay. Can't believe we're getting inceptioned. <laughs> so, do we have to go to sleep here to go into the the few lands feud lands? Oh no, I just. We're in the fugue lands already. Do I have spell slots? You could have just asked. You, could have just asked. you would have said yes? We're, we're yeah. fools. You went Absol through if, a if you had said, hey, hey, do you want to go to sleep and go have a fight in this really cool, in the fugue lands, I'd have been like, hell yeah, let's do it. Yes, That's I why the water tastes like whatever we want it to taste like, because it's a dream. So it's whatever you think it is. It's not the glasses. We're just stupid. He uh, <laughs> n nods and says, uh, yes to the water, no to your stupidity. I wouldn't have bothered if you were idiots. <laughs> Ray is immediately delusion. She's not into this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I... Why he's hot and he gave you a good night's sleep. That's like two great things about a man. What other man in this campaign has given that to you? <laughs> I I imagine that I have a peg leg and I look down. Uh, you do not have a peg leg. <laughs> this dream sucks. <laughs> hey, so I take uh, it... six. Yes. Could, could, can I have a peg leg? Uh, yes, uh, of course. Um, right, right leg, please. 
Actually, both. Both legs. That. All right. <laughs> he he uh, give, gives a shrug, uh, and uh, since you're a willing creature, there is no need to roll any sort of save. And Zoltan, you have two peg legs. <laughs> we. Stupid. <laughs> So Hi, we had to wait cool. for all the rest of these people to go to sleep to join us in the dream, correct? I assume they're joining us not from here, but from all around. Remotely, yes. Yes. We're on a Zoom call. <laughs> Zoom call. What do you exactly need us to do in the fu feud? Fug? What else? Uh, it says, uh, well, I suppose now that we're laying everything on the table, we can get right to the point. Admirable, I suppose. Um, the angel you mentioned has invaded. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. I, I he. I uh... we would have, we would have just, I think we're. I think we're out east. I mean, it's up to, I mean, it's up to Kito, really. Oh, oh god, I hate fighting him. But nope, in a dream, I think you we could... got this. Let's just go. We'll stab him with no. his own sword. Call it done. Oh, I'm going to crawl under my desk right now. <laughs> I guess the part is, if we're in a dream, then his whole, like, it it's true doesn't really work as well here, right? Because he's not in control of the dream. No, no, no I'm pretty sure he's charismatic enough to be in control of the dream. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's something he can wrestle from someone. From someone. But, but... but it's not like... It's not like we're in the material plane and he can just say this is how it is and it is because we're actively in a space being controlled by another person. Uh, he's well, not in my dream. Oh. He's in the dreamlands. Yes. Gotcha. See, that's the great thing is that if we just have enough, you know... A world that is powered purely by belief. Yeah. Then we yeah. Have not, I mean, more of a fighting chance in which we had zero... <laughs> Before. We can hit him with the no you card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe 25% chance of success. Zoltan believes literally in everything. I feel like if anybody could outbelieve him, it would be Zoltan. Zoltan just had to ask for a peg leg. Because it's his dream. I don't feel like a veteran would have had to ask if he was in this dream. That's not the point. The point that is, is the point. point. No, it's not. We can, we can fight them together with the power of friendship, Kibo. Get on board. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> we I'm have to fight him. One. You cannot avoid him forever. This was coming inevitably. I'm not I've saying met... let's avoid it. I'm saying the power of friendship can only get us so far. We need the power of a sword through his heart. <laughs> yeah, we can imagine with the power of friendship together a sword through his heart. I feel like we would yeah, probably be much more uh, likely to succeed with the power of friendship after a dap or so, because Baru is fucked. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm um, fucked. Six. Oh yeah, I do have. You have a negative right four penalty to every roll. That's true. Yes. That is true. Could you give us all a long rest? I'm afraid I can't. Oh, that sucks. I mean, you, you're welcome to go to sleep for as long as you like, but it it's not real sleep. So it doesn't fix us if we're hurt? No more than your peg legs inhibit your motion. Oh, so we just get to do it fucked. Even better. I love, I love fighting at a disadvantage against the guy that fucks us over with his mind. Um, it perhaps bears mentioning... We need your help to push back his armies. We don't have to kill him specifically. Okay. I mean, that's more of our goal, but yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, if we happen to kill him, that that would be lovely. Why do you want him away from the Dreamlands? Um, because he's attacking our mistress. Char? No. Char? No, that's your mistress. Uh, they're not friends, remember? She's not my mistress, but... The serpent okay. mother. Oh. Dendar. Used. Dendar. Wait, wait, 
who you would like to see, I assume, take power in this vacuum. Dendara's already has power. Dendar's a god. Not, so I think what they're trying to do is kill gods to make a to make enlarge the vacuum. And the larger the vacuum gets, the easier it is for something that's not the other thing to is to get in, right? <laughs> he uh, kind of laughs and shakes his head and says, "Dendar has no need of our help. She is no, not far not greater. Dendar. They're trying to already. They're trying to kill Dendar in order to make the vacuum bigger. Oh, the right? UNT. Yes, they are trying to. Yes, kill her. they're trying." trying to kill Dindar to make the god the godless vacuum bigger so that whatever Avimarin is trying to get to raise to godhood Yuanti godhood can that's i think i think it's more like he's, like he's drawing, drawing, drawing power, power from the emptiness does that, does that make sense or will he pull this down he's, he's using up their divinity or something yeah the void of the divine power gives him more strength, right? I'm not entirely sure how it works. I'm not an arcanist, but I think just for the virtue of I don't want gods around, I don't think he wants to resurrect or make a more powerful god. Right? No, I think he was trying to ascend to godhood. A Vamarin? No, Vemmerin's whole thing is like tearing down the divinity. You yeah, don't yeah. need, oh. you don't need to yeah. believe in gods to get divine power. Oh, so he's just trying to wipe it out completely, and he's succeeding. I got it. He's doing something hinky for sure. Mm -hmm. So, you're all followers of the Serpent Mother. Yes. Correct. Gotcha. Uh, no, none of us. Uh, Alright, go against the trope. <laughs> Dendar is I mean, not he's a fiend. <laughs> only a Yuan-T god. She's not only a Yuan-T god? No. No, the Yuan-T worship her, but they... They did not create her. Okay, we'll help. Are, are any of you coming with us? Uh, we, we will be attacking it from other areas. Ah, so you have a plan in place of a sort of coordinated attack to try to knock them back, correct? Precisely. We die in your dream. <laughs> this just yeah, happened to me, so I'm a little sensitive about it, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, you, you would do best not to die. And four. This is why you should have warned us about being asleep, because now we're fucked. Yeah, we would have taken a nap before coming here. An actual nap, not this nap that's a fake nap, because I burnt a lot. <laughs> Yeah, we did. I burned all my ninth level, all three ninth level spells to get here and uh, resurrect Baru. Apologies. Um, we're well, we're unaccustomed to having willing participants. Fair enough. How many unwilling participants have you had? How many people have you tried this with that haven't survived? Uh, he uh, looks over to uh, the vizier uh, who does a quick uh, mental tally and says, uh, Recently, uh, 20, but uh, over the course of our operation, about 6,000. Oh Jesus my god! Christ. How long have you been doing this for? He says, uh, about 60 years now. Once the world has stopped ending, I'm gonna get your asses. 
Okay. <laughs> Hope you know that. Uh, he, he says, <laughs> You wouldn't even know where to find me. Listen, that's not going to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, uh, uh, all right. So uh, fight, fight off of Emran's forces for you. We do, we do intend to stop of Emran, so though. Is there anything else that can help us with that? Any info? Anything you can give us for agreeing to come in here to help you with your cause and succeed with it? Uh, Tamara says, other than our heartfelt appreciation, you mean? Mm. Yes. Slightly more tangible, perhaps, though appreciation is always nice. Uh, she says, you weren't wrong um, about being able to neutralize some of his powers here. Um, we can't. He's much greater than us. Uh, but the Serpent Mother is a gr much greater still. The fight will be... Well, he'll, he'll be limited in what he can do. There is, at least here, there is uh, another mind fighting his view of reality. That Should is... you end up fighting him at all. Mm -hmm. We have been in and out of confrontation with him for a while. I do not doubt if he knows we are here, he will stop at coming to find us. He is um, particularly interested in our party. Uh, Six says... If uh, if you could lure him back here, then we could help. Lure this him into house? your dream? Yes. How would yes. we do that? Um, well, uh, when you exit the front door, you'll find yourself back on the fugue plane. You would just have to bring him back in through the front door. All right, Kipo, ready to be tied up in some fishing wire? <laughs> oh, am I acting like a prisoner? No, I'll use his bait. Oh. Flop around like a fish. I turn into a fish. <laughs> <laughs> a Vamarin, we got a nice big salmon for you. Come get him. All right, well, uh, how do we find the Yanti on the fugue plane? Yes. Um, just to head toward the Night Serpent. Oh, of course, yeah. They're assaulting Dendar, so just walk towards Dendar. Yes. Okay. Great. Duh. How so stupid of you to ask that question. Also, I should mention that uh, the whole of Emerin thing is a secret. Don't mention it, even in vicinity of Dendar, or else, you know, she might be honor bound to report to AO and have everybody wiped off the face of Toriel. So, just, you know, for your own safety. Very well. Noted. How did you come to know of it? I have a lot of dreams. Don't we all? Uh, 
So when we leave the front door, whose dream will we be in? No one's. No one's. But we're in the dreamlands. You'll be in the Fugue Plane. And we'll still be sleeping in your house. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, Seems reasonable. You mentioned your dreams. It seems significant. Mine specifically? Do you all have significant dreams? At one point or another, yeah. No. Some of us still do. We're all like conduits for different world-ending entities. We've solved like half of them. I may understand then why your lady thought we could help you. Okay. Those dreams you have, uh, conduits of these entities, um, with some time, we could extract that and infuse you with a portion of that. What? I mean, aren't we sort of already infused with it as the fact of repeating dreams every night? Or do you mean some sort of power from it? Power. Uh, dreams, dreams are done. done. Sucker, I got dreams. What's up with this? What do you mean? Tell me more. All I dream about is a pale night now. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> you can have a little pale night power as a treat. Jor Jorlin can have his pick from a bunch of demon lords. Yeah! <laughs> Got a lot of kills. It will kill. Yes, uh, we could infuse you with a portion of that power. Would that help for the clearing of the fugue planes? Or is this like a long-term thing? This would take some time, I'm afraid. But uh, you could consider it a uh, trade for helping us. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I could be about that. So long as we're not about to kill him, and then the dreams stop, and then they don't have any dreams to extract. Well, we'll talk about it when we get back. <laughs> Zeal says, and please do take our apologies. We hadn't anticipated you being eager to help kind of our whole thing it's what we do we, believe it or not we've been in some weirder situations that we voluntarily walked into to try to help this is a first for dreams but There's really really no need for the cloak and dagger here we're trying to save the world you could have saved yourself an extra step uh, we understand that now uh, at the time though our uh, our only plan on how to get you to help us was to uh, host you for dinner, uh, bid you farewell, and when you walked out the front door, drop you back in the fugue lands, where you would run into the horde of Yuan-Ti. Yeah, I am gonna just... I do think we'll help with the problem after this, but I do think the 6,000 people that died probably would have been better set up for success if you gave them like a little hint before you pushed them out the door. Oh, most of them we tell in uh, much less certain terms. You all are capable enough, we worried, that if we forewarned you, you might escape. So we can escape from this stream. Um, uh, it's a possibility uh. that we discussed. Uh, we're... Not certain if you would manage it, but we didn't want to take the chance. Fortunately, I used all my wishes before coming down here. Or I totally would have been wished to be awake, and it probably would have worked. Uh, 
Well, okay. you know, veiled threats aside, let's uh, let's go take on the Yanti. Yeah, let's let's go, girls. <laughs> Uh, can we, you, uh, do we have like a? Are we able to take a short rest in all in any of all of this, Derek? Uh, a a short rest, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like some of these spells back. Short rests aren't a thing. Nope, I don't know what those even do. do stuff. We're in a dream. Healing should work pretty well, right? You gotta believe that you're not hurt. This is, uh, you're referring to the influence of Atropos? Yes. Yes, that's not here. So, if I've got a bunch of hit points if anybody needs them, because I can heal you. No sweat right now. Unless you'd rather me hold on to them until after um, we start fighting, because without Leo here, we're down somebody who can give us some short healing. Save it for the fight. You can't use hit dice mid-battle. It's very true. I didn't know how hurt people were. I think Ray and Jorlin were about half. Okay. Y'all look better. I got three first level spells back because those are the only spells that I used under fifth level. Oh, geez. So that was kind of useless. Oh, well. I only have up to fifth level available. Yep. Daisy. I have one sixth and I have one sixth, one seventh, and one eighth. So I guess I'm not doing too bad. But nines are all gone. Aside from my minus fours, I'm in good shape. <laughs> and using spells in our dream does use spells, does use our slots. Yeah. <laughs> Can't just imagine that it doesn't. <laughs> You could certainly I'm try. You can also <laughs> imagine that it works. I got a ninth level cantrip, baby. <laughs> ninth level magic missile, because I said so. You can certainly try that. But at that point, you're not spell casting. You're just dreaming something into being. Hmm. Which, you know, might work. It's actually cooler. That's cooler than casting spells. I believe I have <laughs> two swords now, and I can hit them equally as well.
a second here. I'm going to go use the restroom while we're getting set. So I shouldn't tell the... This is out of character. This is Clinton talking. Yeah, yeah. We we don't want the that guy to know that I sent to Harpel, Lady Harpel. Vel, Vel, Velen. I always forget. I always want to call her Evelyn. The, the, like the, is that a figment of your imagined Velaine? Or... Velaine, because remember I sent to her and then she said that cryptic, essentially you're in a dream riddle. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And that's why I was going to say that. And then because I said, well, then why? I said something about something to her. And then I was like, a sense, like I didn't want to talk about her. But maybe it was the thought I was talking about the, the got Gob little what thingy we were talking to. Boggles. Mm -hmm. Why didn't she just tell us we were sleeping? Uh, uh, Why did she have to be cryptic about it? She's a harpel. <laughs> She's a harpel. <laughs> oh, that's fair. <laughs> I immediately went to, oh my gosh, Hallister has her. Like, why is she Because <laughs> she's, she's a harpel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe it's just because she's a harpel, or maybe it's the constraint of the dream that we're in right now. Yeah. The fact that she responded to you at all is because she's a harpel. Yeah. <laughs> this goofy dude just bent to me from his dream. <laughs> Nelly Zoltan, dream sending. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably her reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I think about it. I get a message tomorrow. Zoltan, you sleep. You sleep set to me again. Zoltan goes. Wait, what do you mean again? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the first time. Wait, again? <laughs> What time do you guys get in next Friday? I guess we're not going. The undies back on the menu, boys. <laughs> no, I think it is. Oh, oh we, weren't we weren't here last week. We did decide that we were going to play next week. Oh, yeah. What's up? Yeah. We are, are going to play next week. Yes. We're only out on the 25th now. Uh, just United, sadly. Okay. <laughs> like Delta? That doesn't sound right. Oh shit, I don't think I actually have the security question. <laughs> That's not good. It's Derek's security questions, because it's technically his account. God, I don't know the color of the home you grew up what in. What was his first grade pet's name? Yeah. <laughs> what color was the home I grew up in? I think it was 
was... Statistically, white. White. Yeah, that was going to be my guess. A yellow! A yellow. Yes, I can commit <laughs> fraud! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for telling everyone how to impersonate me, my love. Well, there was another question. It was a two-parter, so I also succeeded in that. That's how well I know you. Well, the the oh, other one I, I happen to know was not that hard. <laughs> yeah, the other one was not hard. Um, Derek, well, you're well, great. I don't feel the need to try to steal your identity. I wouldn't worry about it too much. This is the, this second, is the second time that's come up in, like, the last two weeks, this identity theft joke. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're landing also, I... at 5.48 5.48 p.m. In the p.m. Just in time to check into the hotel and join us for the after party. Wayo! Well, the, the after party. party? The after rehearsal dinner party. Oh. Uh... <laughs> the wedding is on the 19th? Yeah, I was like, no, we're. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you guys going to be at the same wedding again? That's so fun. Yeah. What if, um... My roommates are getting married. Oh, nice. Derek's college friends. Aw. Hope you guys have a blast. Thanks. Yeah, should be fun. There's a theme, and I, two months ago, decided I will I will be fitting the theme, and then I forgot about it, and then I said... Oh, no. I'm just What's the be theme? 1920s. Oh. I had a dress chosen, but then... Mm. Then time Oopsies. passed. Also, yeah. Like, uh, where's for the dress? And do I really want a 1920 dress that I'm gonna wear once at a wedding and never wear again? No. no. The answer is no. You just get something sparkly with like a little fringe. You could wear it anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's totally my style. It's New York. You can wear whatever you want. <laughs> okay, there we go. I figured out what I was doing wrong. So roll the fucking D, &D uh, updated a thing and it broke one of my uh, yuan T and I had to try and fix it. Uh, uh, guess we can't use that yuan T anymore. Sorry. Oopsies. Yeah. Fuck you all. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, you're about to give us a bunch of snake people trying to poison us and kill us. Just like let us have one thing, okay? <laughs> Alright, uh, so uh, if you are all rested up uh, then you Step out into the fugue lands, yeah? Yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Congratulations, Puzzle Master. We'll play your game. We should have rested. <laughs> I had really a lot should've. more uh, weird dream shit ready uh, for you, but you jumped on that real quick. <laughs> we were like, you, you hinky motherfuckers, tell us the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, what other stuff was it? Uh, I I had a bunch of um, different. I I had a, a thing that I could enable that was um, a trigger that when you stepped on certain tiles, it would teleport you to different parts of the house. Um, and Ooh. I was going to enable that after the dinner, and just more and more weird stuff was going to start happening. Yeah. Um, like, I had several layers set up, but, you know, when you're trying to set up stuff for players, it's always either, like, first grade puzzles that take ten hours, or, like, I set up all this stuff and they got it immediately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we don't often get the puzzle that quickly, though, Derek. Like I, you know, y'all nailed it. Zoltan hadn't stolen the book. I know Zoltan stealing yeah. the book is really what did it, isn't it? Zoltan, and I'm, and I'm angry about this book, and I will never let it go. Yeah, yeah, it really, it really was that fucking book. Like, damn it. It was such a good character moment, though, because it totally it was a tracked. great character moment for Zoltan. <laughs> it did absolutely track. Yeah. <laughs> Sultan being like, but why can't I read this book, though? Yeah. <laughs> but guys, yeah. I can't read guys, this book. <laughs> focus on the real problem here. This guy can be whatever. I can't read this book. You're sick, but what does this book think? <sighs> no, that was, that, that was a great character moment for Sultan. <laughs> guys, I have to say, I have come to love Sultan so much. 
I love you so much. Thank I would you. die for that little man. I did, there was a time when I did not care for Zoltan. <laughs> but I love Zoltan now. <laughs> All right, uh, you enter the Fugue Plain. Uh, the Fugue Plain is basically a sort of a gray wasteland uh, under a light purple sky. Um, it's more or less flat, no mountains, no huge valleys. There's some like uh, crags and crevices that um, you know make their way throughout it, but, but nothing uh, enormous. It doesn't have much in the way of topography, uh, which makes it really easy to see on the horizon uh, an enormous snake. I think we know where we're supposed to go, you guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's like Jormungandr over there. Just towering over this uh, plane. It also has, uh, the Fugue Plane has no curvature, so there's no, like, a part of it disappearing under the horizon or anything like that. Oh my gosh, the fodder theory is real. <laughs> I, I mean, in the plane of dreams, yes, there is a flat Earth. Um, yeah, and it just uh, is is up there. Uh, from its size and its different uh, and its distance, this thing's uh, length is definitely measured in the tens of miles. All right, everybody, ready? Uh, and you can see it lashing uh, back and forth as it fights uh, something floating in, in midair that is shining with light. No. Nope. Yep. Oh, shit. You think we can fly? What do my elven eyes see? I, I just I describe what and... your elven eyes see. <laughs> can, I, can I see the, who is exactly in that golden light? No. no. It's miles away. Well, so much for my elven fucking eyes, huh? Uh, your elven eyes let you see in the dark, but it's not dark here. It's just sort of uh, suffused dim light. <laughs> I jump up and try to fly, but I don't cast a spell. I'm just trying to believe that I can fly. Yeah, you're, you're just uh, saying, I can fly. I can definitely fly. Yeah. Here I go flying. Uh, make a charisma yeah. check. Oh, that's Ooh. not great. <laughs> oh, so bad. That is my worst step. Uh, check. Uh, Zoltan, you do not fly. <laughs> uh, Instead of flying, I, I imagine I'm just at the battlefield already. <laughs> yeah, uh, same same thing. Make a charisma check. Uh, Kipo, you you uh, think real hard about it, uh, but you are not. I see. Which direction? Northeast. You no, know, I don't think dreams are supposed to be this difficult. <laughs> yeah, this is the worst. I, this I'm is starting worst. to disbelieve that these are the dreamlands. <laughs> we're all on the battlefield. Don't think we're all on yeah, the battlefield. I, I am like, I'm like, man, we just go right there. We do like a cool zoom, like in a, a Mad Max Fury Road movie, and we're all right there. You're trying to take everyone. Yeah. 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 All right, uh, the two of you can each make a charisma check. And can Ray make one with advantage? No, because I'm adding your total. Oh, okay. Just, just check, check, right? Yeah, just a charisma check. This, this is your raw sort Whoa, of imagination, Baru. willpower, what, what have you. Uh, Bar uh, Baru... Uh, you feel yourself shoot forward. Oh, see ya! <laughs> and just yourself. Oh no! <laughs> Enjoy, we'll be there in two hours. <laughs> well, guess I better be get hitting the old dusty trail. <laughs> so long, partner. <laughs> Uh, I guess, uh, no, I'm not, I don't know. I just start walking. Yeah. 
Uh, Baru, you uh, arrive quickly, sort of shooting like a Death Star trench run through the like minor <laughs> canyons. The canyons here are at most like 20 feet deep, uh, and you just sort of shoot through them like a maze uh, forward, uh, arriving uh, at the base of this enormous thrashing serpent um, as it just sort of rolls its coils over the landscape. Uh, you can see um, a bunch of yuan Ti here, uh, easily in the thousands of yuan Ti uh, around the base of it that are fighting uh, just thousands of weird creatures. Uh, you have uh, dragonflies uh, that are the size of cats but have the faces of human children. Oh, God, I don't want to be here. Uh, you, you have uh, huge red and purple veined flowers uh, with starfish as bases. Uh, you have uh, wax sculptures that uh, s that seem to shift their faces as they're fighting the yuan -Ti, Um And just continuing just all manner of weird nightmare creatures are fighting against the yuan -Ti here. Oh, God. And there are thousands of them? I don't know how we're going to make a dent in this. I mean, we can fight as many waves as there are, but that seems like so many. I try to look to see if I can spot a Vemarin at all. Yeah, from in the from fray. Uh, as close as you have gotten, you can see uh, a, a Vemarin is up in the air fighting Dendar. Okay. I think about letting my friends know that a Vemarin's here and fighting. Yeah, make another charisma check. Uh, yeah you uh, are able to let them know that. Uh, Baru's voice speaks to all of you. You can say whatever you want. Uh, there are some really weird nightmare creatures here with a bunch of you on T, but Vemarin's fighting the big serpent. Hurry! <laughs> Everyone else jogging. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go. And I turn into a giant horse. <laughs> Can I just try to start, like, hide myself behind, like, a boulder and just, like, blast a, a cantrip or two whenever I see an opening without <laughs> starting initiative? I'm not dumb enough to start the fight of a thousand, you know thousand yuan T without my backup but well, uh you, you wouldn't be fighting a thousand yuan T because they're busy <laughs> fighting a thousand weird nightmare creatures <laughs> yeah <sighs> yeah uh Baru, you kind of bide your time until everyone comes uh running up through the fugue plane can i try to also like keep an eye on a veteran and see what his fighting looks like does he seem fatigued at all does he seem as powerful as we've seen him uh, before make a perception check. Great, I love perception checks. Hey, that's not too bad. Minus four. It's actually pretty bad. Uh, if anything, Baru of Emran seems stronger than you've seen him before. Um, perhaps the uh, thought that was posited about him drawing power from whatever weird vacuum he's left. Um, however, he does also seem. Uh, like he's getting uh, pushed around a lot more than you've ever seen him get pushed around. Um, he's stronger than before, but he's also fighting something much bigger than you've ever seen him fight. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if we are ever going to fight him, definitely now's our chance. He doesn't seem to have noticed me, right? No. I'm waiting to see the moment like Kipo gets close enough that he notices Kipo is close. Because uh, I know my friends are coming from behind me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Kipo and company uh, arrive up at you. Uh, Avemarin's focus does not seem to turn from the uh, you know twenty mile long snake that he's fighting. Fair. 
<laughs> so we just fly up there and, you know, kick his ass, right? Wait, wait, don't we need to... I thought we were here to clear out the Yanti. Yeah, clear the forces. You're right. <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, I do want to kick his ass. I, yeah, I let my I let my emotions get in the way of the the task at hand. I apologize. So we just start killing you on T. Think yeah. so. Wait to look for a moment when Vemrin looks hurt, and jump on him. But... Maybe if he takes a big blow, or if we see him get down, you there will. I don't think we'll run out of you on T to fight anytime soon. Sure. I know Wanted we told him we'd help, but there's no way we can pass up the opportunity to fight him here, and we shouldn't wait till we're out of juice before we do it. Unless we want to try to bring him back to the door. I don't know how we get him across the plains and into the house. But he might chase us. Well, he might chase Kipo. Well, let's just start... Let's just start fighting you on T and see where it goes. Roll the dice, as they say. Hmm. All right. So for now, we're gonna go with uh, fight some Yuan T and see if Vemarin tries to do anything about it. Fight our time. Yeah. Okay. I think so. I turn into a giant ape and just start wibbling my arms around. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll bust into a blade song. All right, hold on. I'm gonna put you on a map with some UNT on it. Does, does anybody have an extra magic weapon? Short sword, a, a dagger, or anything? I have a dagger, it's just not magical. You can take Dawn if you'd like. Dawn can turn into anything. Technically, yes. Uh, do you want to use a Vemarin sword? <laughs> okay. No! Hey, you wanted his attention. Didn't you? Uh, Not is it does it is it like hurt me it, no it's no. a sun sword uh gold knight was wielding it for a while sorry gold sun oh gold sun. Oh, go, gold sun didn't he die we let him die didn't we uh no he did not die he, no we saved him he very nearly died when he did not very die. Nearly died. <laughs> yeah i mean i'll i guess i'll use a vimmerant sword okay let's do it I don't have an actual item to pass you. I just wrote down of Emran's Dawn Blade. I yeah, I didn't expect anyone to ever have the balls to use it, so I'm gonna go give it to Zoltan real quick. <laughs> Is it because it's gonna draw attention? Is no. that the balls part of it? Okay. Well the balls part of it is that yes, it's gonna draw attention, and if he notices that you have the sword and he's gonna take it away from you, he's gonna take it away from you. Yeah, oh, he's, so should, he will wrestle it out of your hands. Then maybe I shouldn't use because if if he sees it, then it might help him, right? Yeah. Well, go if, if there's we'll anywhere back. that he would have trouble taking it away from you, it's here. Fuck okay. it, let's do it. Like I said, you, you wanted his attention. Yeah, let's, let's do it. It's a bad idea. Also, am I not immune to poison? I thought I was. Oops. Oh, well. Where's Leo? We need to hear her you're immune speech. To you're immune to disease? Yeah. No, no STDs for Baru. No STDs <laughs> for Baru. Are you gonna be using this as I assume like a rapier, basically? You're using its for its uh, finesse property, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Mm 
I I plan to use it just like blade when I'm blade singing. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I I'm hoping to do a little bit more damage than one D four from from the weapon damage part of it. <laughs> All right, uh, you now you now have a weapon called Vemarin's Sunblade. Sweet. Fine. Yep. Nervous. You're, you're nervous. That's totally gonna get his attention right away when he sees his fucking sword glinting in the sun. Let's roll initiative. You know what I really need right now is my sun sword to beat this giant snake. Yeah, I feel like this is a bad idea. Are we sure we can't just give him Dawn instead? Uh, hey, how about this? I'll take I'll take Dawn too. Now we're here. Then, uh, Let's go. Uh, I'll, I'll use Dawn, and then whenever we're ready to get his attention, then I'll whip out his sword. I, I don't know. I'm, Let's just roll I'm with it. I'm kind of scared he's gonna steal Dawn, Dawn now too. In addition to his original sword. You got a hammer and sun sword. Let's go. We're rolling with it. Oh, I need to roll initiative. There are so many you on T on this on this initiative tracker. All right, everyone on. Oh, Chris is gone. The good news is, we can play next week, so if we don't finish combat tonight, we can just pick it up next week. Yeah. yeah. Malison, Abominations, Mind Whisperer, Brood Guard, Nightmare Speaker, Jesus Christ. That Nightmare Speaker is a weird looking one. A Pit Master? That's some person who barbecues. Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> what do they barbecue? Kansas City style, Texas style, North Carolina style. With the fanged eels on our side? <laughs> they, they are they're facing, facing the other way. They're facing, they're facing towards the enemy. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like this is once again falling into my adage of all ugly people are evil and all hot people are good. <laughs> Look at the UNT. Not a single hot person among them. I mean... How many shots? How many shots? shots? <laughs> How many... For, for which one? Uh, <laughs> uh, let's go down the list. Let's go down... Um... Hold on, I'll get you, I'll get you big pictures. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so... <laughs> so... We got you on T pure blood. How many shots? I don't see their photo. Oh. Three. three. Yeah, three. Okay. If, if you could flip her like over, it would go a lot easier. Because <laughs> it's like none. none I'm none. scared. Clinton, how many shots? He looks I'm, like a vampire. I, don't know. I, I think I'd have to be unconscious. I'm scared. All I'm right. scared. <laughs> It's the vampire the from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Right, uh, That's UNT what she Pitmaster. Like. How many shots? Oh, oh, like, 
Like five. Why his arms look like what? that? Four. <laughs> Four. 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 That's not that many. No, no it's not. <laughs> All right, you on team nightmare speaker. Oh. Also four. Two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go four. I'm gonna go four here too. You what that tail no, do that? Freaking... You on team that, mind joke, whisperer. Just snakes out of here. <laughs> like seven. Can't with snakes. His, His eyes, eyes look so dopey. Like like seven, probably. I'm I'm getting to the point of it's, it's too much so snake hard. and not enough Yeah, not too much snake, not enough people. Like, like actually how do snakes make babies? Do they have peanuts? Eggs. 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 They have eggs. Eggs. Uh, uh, like nine. <laughs> Alright, uh, you on T, Malison. Five. Why does he look more human than the other one? He's Five. a seven, the other one is like nine. Yeah. That's like a cartoon think... character from my childhood, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a Power Rangers villain. He can't, he can't kiss me, <laughs> maybe like a four. Alright. He's got a little forked tongue to kiss with. And uh, <laughs> finally, that. you on T, Abomination. No, unconscious. I can't do it. That is, that's <laughs> just a snake with arms. <laughs> We're playing That's how many shots, Chris, while we waited for you to get back. That is, that is a cobra whose neck turned whose neck turned into arms. Yeah, yeah. That's basically a a, a not fully formed lizard, unconscious. I can't do it. We're <laughs> uh, doing our roof right now and tore up our back patio. Oh, Chris, you got real quiet. You're muffled. Or something. Hello? That's better. Oh, now you're back. Uh, yep. Probably unplugged part of it. Uh, but they're replacing the roof of our apartment, and so they tore up our back patio, and uh, I have to take Bella out manually at the moment. Ah. Uh. Now she's done, she's going to go lay down and go to sleep. Dog's life, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we go. Zoltan, you're up. How many shots? Perfect. Just where I wanted to be. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Zoltan, you're up. All right, I will go into a blade song. Or no, not yeah, I'll go into a blade song. Um, and. Where's my mouse? Sorry. I'm going to run up. So I've got three feet of movement now. I'm imagining got... you doing this on two peg legs, which is really funny. Oh, do I still have my peg legs? Or did I... when I left his dream, <laughs> I lost my peg legs. Uh, you still have your peg legs. Sweet. And then I will um, dash to get to here. That's I'll I'll stop there. Ray. Uh, where is where is Zoltan going? Just ignoring these ones. Okay. 
I thought they were on our side. No, they're not. No. <laughs> That's why I, I I asked and you said yes. Their face in the other way. I thought. Oh my god. I'm kidding because I think very clearly they're not our friends. Oh, I thought they were like the like the things that were also fighting the UNT. No, they're literally on the initiative trackers like UNT brood guard. Oh. They're all UNT that are fighting against us. Oh, can I take can I go backwards in time and redo Yeah, what I was sure. going to do? <laughs> I literally <laughs> They're on our side because they're facing the other way. <laughs> all of them are together, and all of them are to the left of that. All the rest, I thought. <laughs> okay, I hit it. <laughs> um, so I went into my blade song. My movement got me, and then for an action, I'm just gonna do my uh. My, I'll do the green, the green flame blade. That's the one that jumps to the. Very nice. And the, you I don't know if that attached. Should roll your sword for damage too, because it doesn't yeah. do the sword damage. Thank you. All right, done. Now it's Ray. Sorry. I rolled my, uh... <laughs> yeah, I see my it. Plus. All right, Ray, you take out that one with those two blasts. I'll get started on this one. All right. And I am going to move up so that I'm not getting left behind. All right, uh, this UNT takes a shot at Zoltan. Two shots, actually. Oh, shit. Oof. Uh, it miss. I will shield that, and it misses. Okay. Because I've got my 24 AC right now. Uh-huh. So shield will break that up to 29. Yep. Sure, then. Rush up. Oh, oh, he's gonna try and knock him down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> All right, that was the second attack that did that. All right, so I'm going to move up. All right. All right, uh, this one here will come forward and see if it can make Jorlin stop doing shit, and why not? It'll try and hit Zoltan as well, not that that'll do much. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 indomitable. <laughs> oh, we're using that one quick. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Jorlin will eat it. Okay. Girl, no. Noah. Noah. <laughs> Nar. Jorlin. <laughs> Alright, uh, this one will uh, also shoot at Zoltan. Missing. This one will shoot at Ray. Excuse me. This one will shoot at Ray. Ooh, that's a hit.
Baru. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna run up over this way, 40 feet. Uh, -huh. uh and then I'm gonna skirt by... Th no, you know what? I'll eat the opportunity attack. No, actually, this will get me right here. I'll move 20 feet there. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to Misty step uh, through the Misty Wanderer without expending a spell slot. But okay. question, if I use that, it counts as casting a spell, so I can't cast a spell as my action, right? Yeah. Okay, never mind then. Um, I can't get any further. Um, okay, well, I will just do this, and everyone uh, will deal with it, but I will cast a Destructive Wave out from where I am standing, uh, which is going to be All right. a lot of uh, saves. All right, that uh, is 30 foot radius. That does hit Zoltan and Jorlin as well. Nope, I can choose which creature it hits. Oh, nice. nice. So, but it says it uh, ripples out from me, so I think it, it has to be centered on me, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, but I want hit, it to hit all of the UNT that I can see, please. <laughs> they are all UNT, so they do all have advantage on saving throws against magic. Just UNT things. Just UNT things. Which I do have to say has to be one of the stupidest abilities to give an entire species. Yeah, that is kind of crazy. Like, really, wizards? Didn't help a lot of them, though. No, it did not. Um, and right. half of that's Radiant and Thunder, so I don't know. There. Great, I thought that would do more damage. Bummer. Okay. All right. That's my turn. I mean, it's, a lot of them are almost dead, so... Yeah. Uh, this guy shoots at Baru for a miss. Misses. Uh, this brood guard is going to attack Baru. Uh, Ooh, first hit, right? second misses. Nine whole damage. Uh, is it half technically? Because it's non magical it damage? Non magical damage. Yeah! <laughs> this one attacks Baru. That one attacks Baru. This one attacks Baru. Uh, this one is going to see if... Uh, nope. Uh, this one attacks Baru. Uh, the 23 hits. Oops. This one's going to see if he can uh, make Baru go unconscious. No, uh, uh, con save. Mm -hmm. Doki. Huh! 
Oh, I'm going to use a bonus die. <laughs> that laugh. <left. laughs> <laughs> uh, that's still not good enough. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to use another bonus die. <laughs> Don't use a bonus. No. Die. I can give you. A th I give you. I cast a thing. You can't see Baru. I do it. You're in. Uh, you can't. And you've oh, already no, used your reaction to cast you shield. Reaction. Fair. Thank Shit. you. Shit. So many things. Um, I guess I'm gonna fall into a magical sleep. <laughs> yeah, Baru is unconscious. Quick, Kipo, kiss Baru. Uh, it says I wake up if I take damage. So the minute. Unless one of these assholes tries to hit me, I'll wake back up. Uh, this is to Jorlin, who is blind, so this does have advantage, and they can perceive Jorlin. That's rude. Both of those. I always forget his AC. Yeah. Oh shit, did Ray take that damage? Fuck. Uh, this brood guard uh, grabs Baru and starts dragging. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. The Sneeple. <laughs> Failed. I failed, guys. The wizard got to go first and had a room full of people and could have done an AOE, and instead I didn't. Instead you blade songed. Yeah, I was I know, questioning I, that I choice, thought, Clinton. I thought we were past I, this. <laughs> I, well, no. So what I was thinking, in my head, we were. I didn't want to use spells, and I was buying time, so ah. I was saving spells for a Vimmerin, but I have third-level fireballs. I could have just thrown... Like, I could have thrown those... I, I got... In that, I got in the mindset this of I need to conserve Ray. spells, and that threw me off. Oh, it's Ray. Kipo. Finally me? My turn? It is finally <laughs> your turn. Oh wow, they took Baru really far away. Yeah, wow, they dragged me halfway across the map. I'm sure she'll be fine. Yeah, she'll be fine. <laughs> she'll be okay. Okay. Yeah, no worries, guys. I'm great. Uh, use a bonus action to... Give him paths. Teleport 60 feet. Uh, and I'm going to let off a, a signature spell, Erupting Earth. <laughs> I was like, when did Kipo become a, um, a wizard? And then I realized, oh, no, just Kipo's <laughs> signature spell, not the feature <laughs> signature spell. Kipo's favorite. <laughs> Kipo's favorite. And I'm so far away, I can't be in collateral damage this time. How nice. I was going to put you in collateral damage. That way you receive damage and wake up. Oh, that was... Yeah. <laughs> the one time that being in collateral damage could have been useful. I feel like I'm a turtle person all over again. <laughs> we wake you up. Somebody wake me up. <laughs> one malison and one abomination take... Uh, whoops. 
half damage, not full damage, half damage, and then the rest take full damage. There we go. All right. Then I go my extra 15, and they can have an attack if they'd like. They're going to take it. Which means you do not go your extra 15. <laughs> I choose to believe they can't do that. <laughs> you are welcome to try that when you have an action available. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, not prone. I don't want prone, I want grapple. There we go. Alright, we're back to Zoltan. I'm gonna run up uh well, i guess i'll five feet so right, i I'm can let see. you see again okay and then i'll come right here uh-huh and then we will throw out Prismatic spray. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice. We love a prismatic spray. That was a fun one I got to do when I was playing a wizard. <clears throat> All right. Does it have to be on me? Does that start on me? Yeah, it has to uh, okay, originate so from you. That. Yeah, I need to move that. How do uh, I can't move that? Uh, here, let me. There you go. But presumably, you don't want to get Kipo in it. Well, I can. I can I can shape oh, around. Oh yeah, you can shape around Kipo. So you want to just like straightforward like this? Yeah, that that works. All right, cool. That's right. You shape it around Kipo, so Kipo's not getting blasted. But I do think twice before shaping around Kipo. <laughs> what? Why? I that's just because Kipo always gets us in his collateral damage, so I think oh, that's I'm fair. Keep him in mind. <laughs> A little part of Zoltan goes, Well, what if I... <laughs> observes this. Why not? Oh. Why shouldn't oh. I? Oh, and uh, they all rode privately. Oh, oh whoops, my bad. Uh, so successful was one nightmare speaker. Oops. Shit. Alright, successful. We had a nightmare speaker, a mind whisperer, Malison. That was it? Fuck. <laughs> Unsuccessful was everyone else. <laughs> That's not great for them. Was this snake person on this snake person? Uh yeah. Are they like are they like writing it? No. Oh. Alright. You hurt a lot, a lot, and killed two. And broke a concentration. Uh, oh, that concentration wasn't doing anything, so don't worry about that one. This concentration is, though, uh, and that is the concentration on the darkness. All Great. right. All done? I am. Uh, yeah. Ray. I can see again. All right, let's start picking off people. Um, oh, Baru's still asleep, correct? Yeah. Yep. I'm I'm gonna, in. Gonna, I'm gonna pop one to Baru. All right. Uh, Baru is on the um, in, is prone since she's unconscious, so you do have disadvantage on hitting her. Yeah. yeah, that hits. <laughs> you you do hit Baru. Baru wakes up after taking 15 damage to find yeah, herself but... very far from when she, where she fell asleep. 
Ah, shit, what You're the hell like, am I doing over here? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Let me at him. Let me at him. <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> yeah. I, we've, I've got to stop waking up like this. This has happened a lot recently. Uh huh, that's I'll take him out. Uh, this guy. I'll take him out. One more. Uh, this guy. That's poopy damage. Sorry, which guy? This one? Yeah. Oh, this one. Okay. Uh, that is still enough. Alright, done? Go closer to George or. Alright, now done? Mm-hmm. Alright, uh, there is a uh, brilliant flash of light. Nope. Fuck. We got one round, and now we have to fight all the snake people into Vemarin? Great. Should have used my AoE the first round. Now we've got Dendar on our side. Yeah. That is true. Here's the problem. <laughs> oh, Her no. accuracy is a little... <laughs> Dendar is on your side the same way you might be on an ant's side while it's fighting other ants. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Avemarin uh, lands in front of Zoltan and says, I'm here for my sword. No! Hi, I figured so you might be. Fucking stupid. <sighs> I'm stressed. Okay. I wish I could say it was going to be that as easy as that, but... I'm not just going to give it to you. You understand, right? You wouldn't want that anyway. Of course. Uh, and uh, he will start by uh, reaching out to touch Zoltan. I'm going to back away. Okay, constitution saving throw. What's the save? Uh, if you have yourself selected and click on the save, it'll tell you whether you passed or failed. Oh, gotcha, okay. So constitution save. It's green if you pass, red if you fail. Oh, did that... Yeah, like that. Oh, I click on it. Got it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, but you just rolled both of those. Oh, Zoltan, you cannot pass that. I think we've done this. Have we done this? I'm pretty sure we've done this. I'm pretty sure he did this to you last time. I can't pass it? Yeah, I'm having deja vu. Zoltan is blinded, deafened, and poisoned. I pass it. I pass it. Ah, okay. Uh, where's it at?
righty. Uh, so you still take the damage. Oh, sorry. Um, that is the 47. Uh, not so and then that not having worked, uh, he's going to use a spell. And try to dominate no. monster Zoltan. <laughs> oh! Uh, so Zoltan actually, Baru is now conscious I'm... and has a 120 foot aura, which means you do succeed on that. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, Holy wow, wow, shit! Wow. I forgot my aura was that big now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which means he's just going to use his uh, last three attacks to just hack at Zoltan to try and get his sword back that way. His last oh my three God. attacks. Uh, he succeeds. But he... <laughs> He takes me out. That one. This does he keep going after I'm down? No. Okay, the second one takes me out. Uh, but he does not have his sword back yet because he does not have another action to use to take it. Uh, that's what he's hitting without his, using his sword. Uh, this Yuan T next to Kipo is gonna attack Kipo. Uh, it says the UNT currently holding Kipo. With those three. Hmm. Jorlin. Uh, oh boy. Okay, don't, don't attacks ha have disadvantage against me because of that cloak that I have The that makes me go in and out? What cloak is that? Cloak of displacement? Cloak of displacement. Is that a thing you have? It is. Uh, the first attack has disadvantage. Uh, if you get hit, then the rest don't. So I will give disadvantage to that. Um, fist attack he made on you, making it a same number. Okay. Good memory, though. I forgot you had that. All right. Uh, Jorlin runs over here. Can Jorlin kick the sword toward Ray? Uh get up and throw it at Ray, which seems more dangerous, but we'll, we'll take whichever one we can get. Uh, yeah, it, either way, it's functionally the same. It's an action to, to yeet it over there. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Okay. He's going to action surge. Uh-huh. Um, it would be silly to try and fight a uh, veteran, it seems, but here we are. Actually, maybe he's just going to attack the people around him. Nope, that was not meant to be that. Alright, so that's to the UNT brood guard there. Yeah, right there. You sure he doesn't want to try and uh, muscle of Emerin out of his spot? <laughs> <laughs> Do it, George Orr. <laughs> That guy's still up? No, I'm dealing with the. You do take him out. Um. <laughs> uh, it's not advantage. I'm accidentally rolling with advantage. Alright, that hits. That hits. 
hits. Almost. Done? Yeah. All right. Uh, this yuan -T is going to continue forward here. And go at Ray. Missing utterly. <laughs> uh, this one's going to come over here and attack Baru while she still hasn't had a chance to stand up yet, because that's really his best shot here. <laughs> and he knows it. Still misses. <laughs> <laughs> I said best shot, not good <laughs> shot. <laughs> I'm wiggling like a little worm. Uh, this one's coming at Kipo. Trying to... And succeeding in uh, also constricting Kipo. Not that that's going to last long once Kipo gets his turn and turns into a giant something or another. But for now... Uh, and I think I think all of those hit Kipo. I don't know what, exactly what Kipo's AC is these days. Uh, it's 18. Then all three of those do. Uh, this one is going to try and get Ray. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> hey. Hey-o. Too, too intelligent. It was the right save to target, it just didn't work. <laughs> uh, this one's going to do the same thing. Stop. It's really going to hammer those bad saves. <laughs> wow. Baru. Uh, I stand up uh -huh. using half my movement. Um, Jesus, I don't the all. I feel like all the fights over here. Um, yeah, I'll eat the opportunity attack. Okay. Both miss. Okay. Um. Yeah. And God, I can't see this. Okay. Um, I will. Pass. Um, another destructive wave okay uh avoiding well, keepo right who was in it yeah hot dang you got them all nice I don't think I... No I rolled okay damage. Ah, uh, this guy's got one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, this one is going to come over and attack Ray. Completely missing. Uh, and this one is going to try and uh, also use its int save ability on Ray. I will have Ray to resolve that when she gets back. This one is going to take advantage of Kipo still being restrained for another few seconds. For two more hits. This one's going for Jorlin. Completely missing. 
this one is also going for Jorlin. Also missing. Uh, this one is the one that already blew his load as far as keeping Baru asleep goes, uh, so he's also <laughs> going to go for Jorlin. Also missing. Uh, this guy is going to do the same. There we go, I hit Jorlin. This guy gonna come over and see if he can put Baru to sleep again. Oh my god, it's like, why are you so obsessed with me? Well, I've tried this int save on Riza a ton of times. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not gonna do it. Oof. The pitmaster, I'm not going in the barbecue today. Uh, this guy is also attacking Baru. Nope. Nope. Uh, this guy is coming at Jorlin. Hits. This guy's going for Baru. Does a 21 hit? Uh, 21 just hits. Yep, that's okay, my armor class. That grabs Baru, which means the next one has advantage. And thus also hits. And the scimitar also hits. None of those are magic. But it's all halved. <laughs> I know the program does it automatically, so don't worry, I won't. This guy will also try to grab Baru, but fail. But will manage to hit her with his scimitar. Okay. This guy comes at Ray. That's not going to do it. This guy is going to come over and try and put Baru to sleep as well. Int save when you get the chance, my love. Oh. oh. Do I need to make a con save? Yeah, that's for again. Baru. Okay, okay, just checking. You were like, you need to make an in save, but then you said my love, and I was like, wait. Oh, that was for Reza, yeah. <laughs> and <she just laughs> and I was like, back. that's not for me. Yes, yes famously, uh, that's what Derek calls you. Yes. Yeah, I was confused for a second. Um, I will. Damn it. Uh, use a bonus die. Okay. Because I really don't want to go unconscious again. Yeah, I might be able to get you all the way off the map this time. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I have, like, Indomitable yet, either. Nope. Yeah, when do you get that as a fighter? High, high, level, right? Fairly high level. <laughs> it's not early. Oh, it's not early, yeah. It's like yeah. 8 or something, I want to say. Oh, wow. Oh, Clinton, are you sure? Yep. Alright. No. <laughs> uh, Alright, Burger goes just, It can't be helped. Time. Yep. This guy attacks Ray. For nothing. <laughs> this guy is gonna go grab Baru and start moving. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I can't no, help it. it. <laughs> I I'm can't roll a good con I'm save. Stealing your paladin. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, it'll take him a while to run him off. Where Kipo turns into a giant ape, uh, necessarily breaking the grapple. <laughs> we can't hear you, Chris. 
and then I'm start gonna start uh, going wild on the closest abomination. All right. I'm gonna assume the one to the south because it's a bit more hurt, and they're mm -hmm. equidistant. Yeah, you yeah. punch it. <laughs> Done. Uh, uh, yes. All right, and since it's twelve ten, we will stop there for now. No. No. I'm gonna forget what I'm gonna do next week. <laughs> My next plan. Don't worry, we won't be doing this next week. Oh. Wait. Yeah, we will. Will we? Yeah. We we didn't. I made the timeline. The timeline. I made the timeline line up this time. You did. I worked. I worked hard to make the timeline line up. <laughs> I'm gonna sequester the soul in the action purge. I'm gonna hit Baru again or heal Zoltan. I'm gonna sequester the sword. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, are you gonna are you gonna put in the necklace? No, the spell sequester. Oh, I didn't even know there was a spell. Let's hope that the fucking remembrance like it doesn't work, and I'm gonna be like, no, it does, bitch. It does. <laughs> Why do we use that sword? We should have kept that thing tucked away. That was stupid. You wanted his attention. You got his attention. <laughs> Why did yeah. we want his attention? For what? <laughs> We're supposed okay. to beat up on him, but then we saw he's still doing 150 damage, and we said, never mind, we still don't want to fight him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had too many I had too many positive duets in my ear to stop. <laughs> You mean Derek? We also had the wizard not Derek do AoE. Chris, Why did I waste two Chris fifth were levels? Both on my side. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm Chris always is... gonna say do it. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't listen to me. I'm not on your team. <laughs> I, I do know that. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We we can save it. No, honestly, you should know question. by now. I also say just do everything. Just do it. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll come back and uh, continue this combat next time. We'll just slot Leo right into the turn order. Oh, that's great. There we go. And yeah, we'll go from there. Fuck the duck. <sighs> Good job tonight, everybody. <laughs> great game, y'all. See you next Good week. Night. You seriously went through the uh, this is a dream thing a lot quicker than I thought you were gonna. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all because Clinton played his character perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Curse you, Clinton, <laughs> and your well-played character. I was actually going to bring up – I was thinking about it later because I was going to bring up the fact that I wanted to actually look through the books in the library. Uh-huh. But there was so much other talking going on that I just held back, and so it didn't get brought up. But that would have really kicked it. <laughs> yeah, you would have gotten that real quick there. <laughs> yeah. Hey, why can't I read this shit? We figured out why. Yeah. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, Good night everyone. Bye.